Hello, hi, how are you today? Have you been having bad dreams? Some people have been having absolutely awful dreams. These are bad dreams that include a lot of uh, violence. They might seem very much not making sense. Uh, they can be creepy. They can feel very um, rough, even violent. And they can also uh, seem like there's battles. So for example, I had one where I was in some ancient Mayan culture and not only was there a battle going on, the warriors were absolutely berserk with bloodlust and they were under the influence of some kind of drug of that era. And, you know, this is very indicative of things that are popping out of people. Now, interestingly, this is a part of the emotional body and where it's had connections to things such as physical violence against other humans, uh, domestic violence, and people that we have grown to hate or despise or find despicable. In order to truly ascend and be in a twin flame union, these things really can't be present. And so the good news is, is that some of this does pop up within someone's dream time so that it can be addressed. Now, the weird part is, is a lot of people don't really know what they're supposed to do with it. So that's what I'm here to guide you with. Number one, you need to take it seriously that this is happening and that there really is, are things that do exist on this planet. There are things that you're getting away from. It doesn't always mean that there's entities. There are actual real life human people who are struggling, have no emotional regulation, are immature and aren't even awakened. Whereas you on the other hand may have had your initial awakening or activation and you're actively working on this and guess what? You still have to live here, work here and love here. Now you're not going to make love at this level but going to work, going out in traffic, seeing it, it it's, it's here. It is a fact and nobody really likes it, even the people that are participating in it. In the past, we've had a lot of things that this has been the past. It's a constant state of turmoil and chaos and were there ever really any times in history where there was always calm? Well, we are coming into a time where some people in the population, which are us, us twin flames, will be calm, will be a stabilizing force, and we will need to do the integration of our brand new twin flame body. So we see it in the social media. We make films about it, and for real twin flames, this cannot intrude on you. Do you find it to be intrusive? Do you wish you were dreaming of something else, and instead you're having a bad dream? Now, it's one thing if you have a bad dream, but many people are having a series of bad dreams. I know how to help you get rid of it. I know how to help you elevate above that level where it is so pervasive because it's a part of the mental body of the collective. There are people that think of it. There are people that look forward to being entertained by things that honestly are violent. And that may not be you, but other people are. Um, there's a certain criminal element on the planet that has criminal mentalities or mob mentalities, and they are going to work. They are creating a lot of chaos, drama, and unfortunately, it's sometimes fatal. Is that us? Is that how we're supposed to end things here? No. Our motto is make love, not war. So how do you do that? Do you want to know how to get your new light body? I'm going to say something else. Let's stop being empaths because being an empath is not fun. Feeling that pain, dreaming about it, um, having it well up inside you again and again and again, that's not fun. It doesn't matter how many times you try to romanticize the superpowers of an empath. You get tired of it. It's exhausting. Fighting is exhausting. Arguing is exhausting. That accounts for some of the fatigue and depression and discouragement that people experience. It feels futile. It feels like you're fighting against a tide that some other 
you know, thing and people wind up calling it entities and doc forms and all this other crap. Let's call it what it really is. It's people behaving badly and some of them even know better. And some people, even with a mental illness, guess what? They're just being provocative and they know better. And then they fall back into that, you know, new comfort zone of, well, I have a disability, I have an illness. We'll start doing something about it. I, I'm not saying that people don't do something about it. I'm saying they need to dig in more and do more of what can be done because the resources in many areas are there. Most people know, I mean, they have an inner inkling, you know, and sometimes they override their natural inclination and they disconnect from their heart actively and they go ahead and do it because they're bored or they're provocative or they just want to stir things up. It is taking a toll. It takes a big toll. So if you're wondering why you're having bad dreams, there is the awake influence and there is the influence of the collective mind and it is having an effect on you. Let me help you through the integration of your brand new twin flame body because you can do that even in a form of separation, whatever form of separation you're in. Also, I will be having an Empaths and Healers webinar come up, so please watch for the links. The links will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, as I like to end my evening webinars, sweet dreams. Bye now.